Hi everyone, this is Ty Williams, how everyone is doing today. I like to discuss Kenny Omega is a draw in wrestling. Hear me out here. I know that some of you don't like Kenny Omega, and there are most of you love Kenny Omega, but you cannot deny that this man have star power. If you love it or hate it, Kenny Omega is a draw in wrestling. He is the glue in wrestling. He is the key in wrestling to make wrestling great again. Think about it. Kenny Omega is the one to make New Japan pro wrestling worldwide. He is the one in the Bullet Club and AJ Styles and Don Callis and Chris Jericho make AEW where they are today. And I feel that Kenny, Kenny Omega can draw a crowd wherever he goes. And it's such a good idea for him to just go to Impact. And by the way, Kenny Omega make Impact more interesting again when he debut in Impact. Think about it. His match between Phoenix versus him in Triple Mania for the Triple A Heavyweight Championship got a five-star match in Mexico. And he, be and he began to make a name from himself in Mexico. So, whatever Kenny Omega does, he make a mark. He make a scene. He make people get invested in him on what he is doing. And I could see him going to RH, MLW, ICW, or maybe go back to New Japan Pro Wrestling. But the biggest one, and this is going to be a big challenge for him, if he event Vince McMahon to work something out and do a storyline with him and the Young Bucks then AEW or make something between him and AJ Style that's it that's it and I feel like Vince McMahon need to stop being greedy and selfish and petty. Like he needs star power. He needs someone new that make people get into wrestling. The last time I checked, Raw sink down, like really sink down. And there is no star power in Raw right now if Kenny Omega go to Raw just go to Raw with Don Callis like having him like sitting up sitting in a limo just watching the show or how about this I don't know when is takeover um, next month, 
picture this. Ring, um, Ringo. No, 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 no. Okay, this is better. Triple H was talking to somebody backstage, you know, talking to the staff work, all that, all the people backstage. And then you see a security guard run into Triple H and telling Triple H that someone important really want to see you right now. And you see Triple H like pausing and he's walking. The cameras is following him and you see this long car or this big old black bus and he's walking up the bus and the bus is closed and people was like what is going on you know like the speculation like what is going on and then you see triple h like look and walk out of the bus and you see people like get around triple h like who's in the bus who's in the bus and Triple H like nothing, 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 nothing. And then you heard um I think Road Dog ran up to him and Shawn Michaels. And, and he was it was like, Is it true that he's here? Is it true? And Triple H look at the camera and be like Get that camera out of my face. Go, go, go. Leave, leave, leave. So that was that. And and people want to know, like, who is in the bus? Who is in the bus? And Monday, you see the same bus waiting. And, and the bus not moving. And then you have Vince McMahon with his limo just coming in. And he was like streaming at the, um, his chauffeur, like, who the hell blocked the parking lot? Who is that person blocked the parking lot? Like, he got, he, like, so angry. <laughs> Very angry. You know how Vince McMahon is. Him coming out. And, um, and the chauffeur, like, sir, you cannot. He said, I'm Vince, I'm Vince McKinney, my man. You cannot tell me what to do. And he is banging, 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 banging. Like, open up, open up. And he's like, okay, you're not open up? Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you an hour, matter of fact, two hours to leave out of this parking lot. No response. Vivian Man went back and just, you know, being Vivian Man, his old self. And then Vivian Man see the same old black bus just standing there and he's like okay okay let me go to the bus and parking lot and confront you face to face so you see this man in the camera and people follow him you know walking and the Vince McMahon shout, either you drive off or someone have to come out. Then 
the bus door opens. The first one came out. Don Callis, greeting Vince McMahon. And said, hey, hey Vince, nice to see you. I always want to see you. I'm sorry for not hearing the commotion outside, you know that I'm doing business and I'm really, really apologize, but let me give you my gratitude to you. There's someone who really wants to meet you. And this is the person who want to meet you. You see Kenny Omega walking down out the bus looking like a movie star, looking like a champion with the shade, the hair, everything, and just smiling at Vince. And this man just look at him like he's a goat. He couldn't do nothing. And you see Kenny Omega say, Hi, Vince McMahon. My name is Kenny Omega. Nice to meet you. And give him a handshake. And this man couldn't say a word and just just shock. And that's how everything is off. If they do something like that, oh my goodness. People will go insane when that happened. Because think about it. Kenny Omega made New Japan up the top. Kenny Omega Bill AEW with the elite group. Kenny Omega was a triple A heavyweight champion in Lucia Libre. And then AEW Heavyweight Champion. Um, what else? I would say Impact Heavyweight Champion. He would probably do that too. Or winning the major Heavyweight Championships in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So, him going face to face with Vince McMahon, it'd be icing the cake. And the funny thing about it, Triple H walking in and he's like, I don't want to, you know, like the suspense, you know, it's like the old wrestling days, like make it more unpredictable, make it more believable, make it more like you're not as soft and not intelligent, like keep us in the edge of our seats, you know, man, you know what, that was, that's what I think too, I think that if... If WWE and AEW work at angle with each other, it will work. It will work. Like to have the dream match between AJ Styles versus Kenny Omega. And Kenny Omega is a heel, he is cocky, he is arrogant. You have Don Callis with him and you got you could do anything and that's why I think that's why 2021 it gotta happen 
it gotta happen. I don't care what anybody said. So what you guys think about this? So this is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.